Well, let's go for the case for a more or less final solution now. The following aspects are to consider. First, I'm going to build the next modules, at least the next eight, nine or ten ones, around my neutron here. I can make use of its modules that way and I don't have to buy and build expensive oscillators and other things at once. Um, the case shouldn't be fixed to the shelf, therefore, um, to the shelf which I showed you in my first diary video. I'm thinking of a, let me call it, Lego-like system. Always, when a case module is full of synthesizer modules, it will be transferred to the shelf, the place where my modular synth is meant to grow, and a new case module will be begun here, at my neutrons place, and so on, and so on, and so on. Um, well, probably for years and years. Second aspect. I won't ever go on tour. The whole project is only meant for being used in the studio. The case modules will not have to withstand extraordinary mechanical stress, therefore. Third aspect. The power supply and the modules will not be in the same case. The power supply is going to get a case of its own, a fact that reduces the generation and the occurrence of heat in the cases to a minimum. Therefore, there is no inevitable need to use metal rails, which reduces the costs for a case remarkably. Not using metal rails, I mean. Fourth aspect. Yes, let's talk about money. I've already spent a lot of extra money on the soldering station, for example, and some other things you have seen. At least the first case module should be as less expensive as possible, but solid and durable enough for the purpose I described a minute ago. It's going to be a construction of wood and cardboard with a bit of aluminium. I've already a detailed plan how to make it. And aspect number five. Hmm, well, this is not directly related to the construction of the case, but concerns money as well. I will stop buying complete do-it-yourself kits. Even building my modular synth only with do-it-yourself kits, I would run out of money quite soon. Perhaps I'll buy only the PCBs and try to get me the parts in a less expensive manner. Or even I'll go deeper into electronics and build the modules on strip boards. I'll try the strip board thing with my next module, by the way. It's going to be a clock divider, which will go well with my new sequencer module and the Neutron's LFO. Okay, enjoy your day, Rolf.